There's no way we'll be sailing on the lake with this main. Along with finishing our last refit projects, now we have to find a new main sail before we leave Pahokee for the Keys. Second hand shopping. Gonna get us a sail and see if we can find anything else. With some help from new friend Steve on Bonaventure, our sister ship, and Tom, we found several used main and head sails for Gwen. Since Gone with the Wind was built in 1972, it can be quite difficult to find new hardware that matches Gwen's old style. Our mast has an external track and sliders, so now the hunt was on to find hardware to attach our new sails, some of which haven't been made in decades. Michael Bickers again, my favorite blade. Just like any consignment place, you gotta dig to find the good stuff. Gotta go digging when I told ya. Oh, look what I found, exactly what I'm looking for. And they're a quarter of the price. And I have them now instead of waiting a week for shackles to put the sails up. Yay! Look at that mess. He's so cute. <laughs> Sean is going to do his good deed for the day again. Pete's boat got tore up when that water spout came through this area. My buddy Pete's boat was getting hit hard. I noticed his door got blown open, so I'm gonna go see. He's not here. Oh. What? The top hatch is gone. No! This is a mess. Some nice floors. Replaced all the plumbing lines? Yes. Sweet. They were pretty gross and hard to get off, weren't they? Very old and weathered. <laughs> and mature. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fresh lines and a fresh toilet it is. My hose. The hose is too big. I'm just guessing. The inlet hose is not one inch. It's three quarter. Ow. So that means so, we're not finishing the toilet today, huh? If it ain't one thing, it's a m m m <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we tried. Alright, I'm in the engine room inspecting all of Sean's plumbing work. He's telling the truth. I see a lot of fresh new lines in there. We got a clean tank. All that stuff is good. Sean has been a busy little bee as normal because on your way out. Yeah. He built that for us. So now our second battery bank is nice and secure. And we actually have a second battery bank, so that'll get us a lot further than it, the first one did. Nice. Good job, Sean. Oh, and on top of the battery bank, we also now have the generator. 
has a home. House batteries have a home. Everything's nice and secured. Sean's been taking care of business in here. No wonder I haven't seen him about for a couple of days. What other projects is that you're talking about doing here? I'm talking about I have to wire up my propulsion battery bank one, build mm -hmm. wires for bank two, build a solar frame, install it with solar, hook up the solar, swim step, I need to build that, install it, source the materials for it. Mm -hmm. What else do I need to do? I need to install my stanchions and get a couple missing pieces that are hard to find or have them made. Also, what needs to be done, we need to get all our, how what, we need to get our foul weather gear. That's not you though, that's situated. me, I'll take care of that. Well, I'll do all that other stuff and you just do that one thing. Oh, uh -huh, that one thing. Sure, that's all I'll do. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm doing now. You just cut yourself short, buddy. So we were lucky enough to actually find the foul weather coverings inside the boat. The condition, not so good on a couple of the pieces, so I'm definitely going to have to redo them however pretty nice to have a pattern essentially I already have it all laid out and we found all the pieces too fortunately so we'll get that taken care of here I am back on poor old Harry this time I am working on the foul winter covering replacing this grossness that a lot of it you can't really see through, so that won't really work too well. And like last time with the cushions, I watched several videos online, mostly from Sailrite, um, on how to replace this PVC vinyl. And once again, I'm not exactly doing it I only recommend, but it's what's been working best for me, so. All right, there we go, all gone. So now it's time to put the new vinyl down and trace out the size that I need. I think that's going to fit. Now, I could get a straight edge and a sharpie and draw these lines. Or I could just call Sean and have him do it because he's got a pretty mean free hand. I think I'm going to call Sean. Draw my lines. So you don't have to draw this one because I'm good on that, right? Okay. Let me scoot it because it's a little too much. That's good. Okay. Okay. See this I can mark. see it. I can okay. see it. Okay. Yeah, I'll go above that. Let's see. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, like try to just remove this line. I will. I'll stay on the inside of it. I got it. Seriously, he draws some really straight lines, all easily. No, <laughs> he draws a straighter line than I cut. <laughs> 
So this is my sewing station. Let me just take a second and show you my little ghetto setup we rigged up here. Okay, so there's the second sewing machine. It's on top of a platform <laughs> that goes from one stool to the other bar stool and on top of books so that I have the right height to match up with the bar so that it's pretty level. Then, you see the clamp over here, I have clamp added to my wood that's being weighted down so it doesn't go anywhere so I can get the length that I need for these panels and have it pretty level here. So I pretty much just rigged up an inlaid table for my sewing machine on poor old Harry's bar here. <laughs> it's pretty ghetto, but it's working. That's the important part. It's working. Finally. Turn her on. This is my first time really messing with the computerized uh, sewing machine here, and it's just a brother Project Runway Limited Edition. <laughs> I just read that on there. Nice. Um, it's working though, and the other one didn't want to work. Yes! We have a complete panel! Yay! All done! That's much better than it was before. Trim up some of these lines. Another one done. Uh, five more to go. <laughs> was 12. Two sewing machines and six needles later, all of the panels were see-through once again. Not only did we just get a weatherproof cockpit, but we also increased our living area. He's right there in the slip. Hi, buddy. Did you pay your slip dues, bud? Yeah. Did you pay to be here? You've been here every day for a long time now. Let's see, he's about to go get one. Or maybe not. He's tricking me. Don't start facing me, though. That ain't cool. He's looking to snack on a little mojo leaf, though. <laughs> mm. We are mighty close. Yeah, don't be turning my way. Okay, I get it. You're intimidating. Really? I'm out. When a new boat came into the marina needing a diver, we knew exactly who to call. Max from Maximum Diving was back in Pahokee. And this time he brought a coon ass as crazy as him to dive in the gator and algae infested waters. He's not afraid at all. That's the important thing. These Yankees. <laughs> Don't know nothing about them gators. <laughs> They're on gator watch. the powder pen. Good job, man. Mm -hmm. 
I know you were wanting to win that ten thousand dollars when animals attack. I was like, if I turn this camera off, the gator's coming for sure. Like that's a given. You're gonna be so disappointed. Absolutely. Oh, that would have brought big money on uh, Facebook. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. More than $10,000. Really, though? <laughs> Spitting it back out. <laughs> it's a little too spicy. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Oh, that's Tony Sasher. He's out of it. Oh, hey, yeah. Any visibility down there for you? No, that's, that's what I got. Might as well close your eyes. You can't see. Yeah. It's a big Yeah. Mm -mm. Today is rub rail day. It's the rainy season in South Florida, so this has been put off a lot, lot, lot. It's been raining every day for about a month. So it's not supposed to rain for about two hours, so I'm gonna get going. Directions say put three screws, stretch it out with a friend, have a buddy, and then do one screw every six inches, every five to six inches. Got some 4200 to put under there. While we were finishing up some of our last projects, we got some real inspiration as we watched Mai Ling finally leave her slip at the marina after eight long years. Thanks, Don. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> bye Mark. Later, dude. Thanks for watching Big Easy Sailing. Don't forget to like the video and comment below. A special thanks as always to our crew members who rock. Click on the Patreon link to find out how you can join our crew. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook to keep current with our adventure. Thanks y'all.
That's right. They're having a war. And you can see who he's having a war with as he got the spotlight. Teenagers, let me tell you.